go to, I'm stopping a little bit just to go through some of our comments. Adrian, art, filmmaking as a form of didacticism. What kind of trick is this? Frank Gooden folks ain't ready for that. See, here's the thing. I, let's talk about that a little bit, Adrian. Oh man, you're gonna make me stop this for a minute. No, instead, I'm, let me see if I can bring this up at the same time so you guys can see my face a little bit. There we go. If I scoot over a little bit. This is a great comment right here. Um, Adrian, what you just said is part of the reason, I guess I'm skipping a little bit. This is this has a lot to do with why I chose to, <laughs> to be a filmmaker right here. Because, and I'm not the only one, I feel like um, for me, stories, when you take the time to either tell a story or hear a story, it's for a purpose. And most of the time, or at least it should be for a purpose, most of the time, and I say should, you know, I mean, you, I guess we can tell a story just to kind of entertain ourselves if we want sometimes. And maybe that's the purpose, just to entertain. But for, for me, I really do take storytelling seriously. And I think that some of the most powerful things we learn are, are taught and are told in the form of stories. As, you, as everybody knows, I'm a Christian. Um, Christ taught in stories, parables, and, and taught very profound um, lessons using stories. Um, and we are built to learn through stories. Um, and so, so, yeah, you know, if you, as a filmmaker, if, if, if you can create a story that is entertaining, that entertains people and teaches them something, and you have the ability, the talent and skill to actually do that and do it in a way where it doesn't come across so heavy handed that you're actually teaching someone. I mean, what what better way to teach somebody than than through an entertaining movie that they took in? We do it all the time. And, and, and unfortunately, we end up teaching, you know, things that, in my opinion, shouldn't be taught. You know, that's what we, we see these you know, foolishness all the time and people learn. Um, and sometimes people, those things are kind of very deliberate, you know, teaching kind of what I would say the wrong things through the use of stories, filmmaking. That's what I'm talking about now. So why can't we use filmmaking and why shouldn't we use filmmaking to, to tell the kind of stories that, you know, basically teach people? Why couldn't, why shouldn't we? And so this is what's going on here with me. You know, I told this, I tell the story, I became a filmmaker because I saw Spike Lee come out with a movie called Do the Right Thing. And the movie was controversial, but the whole reason why um, it was so popular and so controversial is because it was doing a lot of educating. It was, it was spitting some truths out that people wanted to object to, that people rejected and people were going back and forth. And Spike, and Spike Lee is a brilliant filmmaker, and that was a brilliant film in a lot of different ways. Um, and once I saw Spike Lee, I was on a whole nother path. Once I saw Spike Lee do that, I said, I can do that. And so I changed. It, it was actually, it was more like it came to me, you're going to do that. That's kind of an interesting story in and of itself. <laughs> Bye.